Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. This time we have a bit of a different topic as we're usually covering um, more the aspects of advanced calisthenics, advanced weighted calisthenics. Today we are covering a topic for beginners. The reason for that is that uh, yesterday on Instagram again I saw a pull-up tutorial about how to learn your first pull-up and the first two exercises this guy introduced were scapular pull-ups and pull-up negatives. And if those two exercises are really the go-to exercises for you learning your first pull-up is what we're going to discuss in this video. Very, very important information. The moment you are seeing this video, the pre-orders for my first book, Understanding Calisthenics are online. So you can now pre-order it for a highly reduced price. It's available in German as a printed book and it is available as an ebook in English. Release date will be the 1st of July, but now you can save it for an amazing pre-order price. Okay, let's take a look at the first exercise that is always used for beginners to learn the first pull-up and that is the scapula pull-up. So what the scapula pull-up is all about is that you are going into a dead hang position and then without bending your arms you should learn to depress the shoulders and to lift up your sternum to the ceiling. So bringing the chest up and the shoulders down like this. And as you can see from me doing it, the range of motion of this exercise is very, very small. So also the stimulus for hypertrophy and for strength this exercise um, gives you is very, very small. And overall the carryover to your first pull up will be very, very small. So even though it is a good pre-activation exercise and also a very, very good warm-up exercise for more advanced athletes or for athletes that have a bit of a problem to properly learn the starting position of a pull-up, it is a pretty useless exercise for learning your first pull-up. The second exercise are negatives. Negatives are not a bad exercise. Um, it's just that it's not optimal for a beginner to really learn the pull-up. Why is that the case? Because first of all, to have a controlled negative, you already need a certain amount of strength. Secondly, the fatigue to stimulus ratio is not pretty good. It provides a lot of fatigue, but it just gives you the stimulus of half a repetition. So that is not very good. You cannot accumulate a lot of training for beginners without a certain amount of body control. It has a pretty high risk of injury and also for athletes that are a bit heavier, the intensity of a pull-up negative is pretty overkill, especially at the beginning. So for some, the negative might be a reasonable exercise, but if it's really the first pull-up that you want to learn, it's probably not the best choice for you. So what do you need for it? A pretty high box and then you start, oh we're doing pull-ups, in starting position and then you control, lower yourself. And that is what you repeat for the given amount of reps. And as I can already hear a lot of calisthenics athletes complaining that this is the best way and that's how I learned it, that might be. But now let's compare this approach to another strength goal. So let's use the same approach that most of you guys are using to teach someone their first pull up for another strength goal like 100 kg deadlift. Also, yeah, more beginner weight, not too heavy, but still, you know, not too easy. And now let's use the um, kind of pendant to scapula pull-ups, which would be in case of a deadlift, similar range of motion, a shrug. So if you want to teach someone a 100 kg deadlift, the first thing in that logic, what you want to do is you grab the barbell and you're doing shrugs with it. Okay. Exercise number one and exercise number two is someone wants to learn 100 kg deadlift. And the first thing we are doing is 
we are using a negative. So unracking it and using a controlled negative. Then we're putting the plates away, putting it back up and repeating the negatives. And if you think about this approach for a deadlift, immediately all of you will realize that this is might or this might not be the most smart way to program for a strength goal. So, but how can we do it better? Basically, we stick with our deadlift example. What you're gonna do if someone wants to do a 100 kg deadlift is you are decreasing intensity by decreasing the load and you start with higher rep ranges in a more controlled fashion with a lighter load. And then you build that up to higher loads. You build up a certain amount of muscle mass, a certain amount of movement control until you are able to push the weight. And before you are not able to push or pull the weight, you are not using it. So if we carry that over to pull-ups, then we are using exercises with a reduced load, with a similar movement pattern that trains the similar muscles in a reasonable loading range. The first and the most common exercise that is often used, which is also um, a reasonable thing to do, are pull-ups with a band. Because the band does exactly what we want, it reduces our body weight, and so it helps us to accumulate more training in a very specific movement pattern, because we can actually do some controlled pull-ups for a couple of reps to create a good stimulus that has a nice carryover to our first pull-up without the band. If you can just do it with a very, very heavy band, then this exercise might not be very helpful for you as these bands help you a lot in the bottom and not much on top. So banded pull-ups are something that you can use if you're already a bit stronger, if you're close to your first pull-up and if you're not too heavy. So how does that look? Like that, but I think you know that I could do it. Boom. Another good exercise setup for learning your first pull-up is something you can do on your rings in the form of self-assisted pull-ups. What I want you to try is set up the rings like this and then go for full range of motion pull-ups and assist yourself as much as you need with your legs, like this. And then you can train for full range of motion and you can scale the intensity pretty good so that you can work in more moderate rep ranges between like five and 12 repetitions. If you are training in the gym, it actually becomes even easier to prepare your first pull-up because you can just use regular cable setups. You can use lat pulls, rows, curls, every kind of pulling movements that really builds up the structures, builds up the muscles in a similar movement pattern. So any kind of vertical or horizontal pulling pattern will help you to build up the strength that it takes to do and attempt your first pull-up. So you don't really need any kind of scapular pulls or negatives to achieve your first couple of reps of pull-ups. Okay, so important summary. There is nothing generally bad about negative pull-ups and about scapular pull-ups. There's always the right time and the right place for a certain exercise. If you are new to calisthenics, if you are trying to learn your first pull-up, make sure to train with exercises that allow you to create a sufficient stimulus. Focus on the rep range between five and 12 repetitions and work with very, very controlled exercise execution. Your number one goal should be to really build up muscle mass in the required structures so that you are able to just do your first pull-up without needing to go for any kind of negatives or pre-activation exercises. The moment you have your first pull-ups, yeah, then it can make more sense to implement more specific work, but for your beginning, stick to full range of motion exercises, to moderate rep ranges and moderate loads and just take a bit of time. And if you are pretty heavy at the beginning, then 
um, next to what I just described, you also, of course, need to lose some weight because the lower your body weight is relative to your strength level, the easier it gets for you to unlock your first pull-up. If you are a bit more advanced than um, yeah, wrapping out one or two pull-ups, make sure to schedule your free consulting call for our coaching service. We're specialized in working with intermediate to advanced athletes. That means you can already wrap out some pull-ups. You maybe want to start weighted calisthenics and you also want to start more advanced elements like the front lever, the planche, the handstand push-up, one-arm pull-ups, uh, muscle-ups then uh, you should definitely schedule a free consulting call. Link is in the description. And with our coaching service, we can definitely help you to unlock the advanced stuff. Because let's be real, for you know, learning your first couple of pull-ups, you can probably get that on your own.